Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Today, I'm looking at Apple Maps on iOS. We've not covered it before on its own, only in videos that cover iOS as a whole, where we throw improvements to Maps in there. However, some members have recently been in contact recommending it for coverage because it does a lot more than just show you where something is and how to get there. And in preparing this outline, I'm in full agreement. It's great. Now, as I record this, we're still using iOS 17, so the majority of the video will show you maps on that operating system. However, with some slight changes coming to iOS 18, I am going to touch on those at the end of the video using my live phone, which is running the iOS 18 beta. OK, so as said, this is a screencasting phone I have running iOS 17. So let's get into maps here. And we're just going to spend the first part of the video looking at what you would expect maps to do. So that's finding a location and getting directions. So here we have a map showing my current location. I'm in my studio at the moment. And let's say that I want to drive somewhere from here. So I'm going to tap search maps, type in the name of a location. So Lily is currently looking at universities at the moment, meaning I'm going to be using maps a lot for this purpose. And we can see at the top there the result that I want. Now I could tap directions straight away to get directions there, or I can tap on the name of the result here. And this opens up an information page, which I can drag up here. And it contains a lot of data here that we're going to be checking out later on. You can drag this overlay all the way down to give you more of a view of the map. Let's pull it up and take a look at this first button. So we can see a car and 34 minutes below it. That means that the quickest route by car is currently 34 minutes. And it's showing the driving directions because that's set as the default. If you don't drive, however, you can change this. And I'm going to show you that later on. I'm going to tap. And it loads some more options for me. So we've got three potential routes that I can take. And each of those routes is clearly shown on the map. I can tap them. And you can see them active with the dark blue coloring there. I'm going to tap here, though, to show the fastest one. And if I want to see a breakdown of each directional instruction that I'm going to receive, I can tap. And I can see that they're all listed here to help me prepare. It's not too many for getting to Canterbury there. If you want to quickly reverse the route and see what the traffic is like for getting back currently, then you can use these drag handles to switch these around. And these will come in handy when you start scheduling stops on your route that you're planning on making for things like petrol, comfort breaks, and so on. In fact, let's add a stop right now. So Lily and I want to grab a coffee on the way, probably from Costa. And you can see it comes up with options here near the destination. But I'm going to want to grab one a little bit earlier, probably as soon as we set off. So I'm going to tap search nearby at the top here. And there we have our Costa Coffee locations clearly pinned. Lots there, which I like. It's my favorite coffee place. They're also listed down here below, ordered by proximity to the overall destination. And I can add one from here, or I can come up to the map and simply tap on the one that I want. Then come down here and add stop. Now it's added it to the end of the journey, hence the much longer journey time. So I just need to reorder it here. And there we are. So we've got more than one destination on the journey now. I don't have to use that add stop button though. If there is somewhere on the map that I quite like the look of, so Wingham is a lovely little parish here, I can tap and then tap add stop. And just reorder to bring that one into line as well. And now I have a new journey with two extra stops and the estimated time to get there. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.